Hey guys, welcome back to Casey Crawls on the road again. So, in this episode, we're going to talk about fuel mileage. I know I did a video before, but now I re geared the Jeep. So, before the Rubicon comes with 410 axle gears, I put the 35 inch tires and now I'm running 488s. So, let's see what it's going to do to my fuel mileage. Stick around, stay tuned, and hopefully, this will be informative for you. All right, guys, so 70 miles an hour. Last time I did this video, uh, I was headed to San Antonio. I thought it would be appropriate to do it with the new gears today because I'm headed to San Antonio. Uh, so, same route. We'll see what the uh, fuel mileage is. Uh, I haven't filled up yet. I'm going to stop at uh, Bucky's and Katie. I'm turning probably about 2300-ish. I've got my crew set on 70. And you can see what it's, uh, what it's turning there. All right, we're just about to Bucky's. Have you guys seen the Bucky's in Katy? Just, out, just uh, west of Houston. Man, this thing is huge. It's got a car wash. Seems like it's a mile long. It's really long. Have you guys heard of Bucky's? I don't know. This place is crazy. For several years now, it's been a staple uh, to uh, the state of Texas. They've got the cleanest restrooms. They've got just miles of fuel pumps. Uh, it's hard not to find a fuel pump. And you go inside and there are snacks for days. Heck, they even have burn pits, uh, barbecue grills. I bought one of those one time. Bucky's is amazing. And no longer is it only in the great state of Texas. I hear that they're expanding uh, outside of, uh, of Texas. So hopefully, you'll be lucky enough to get one. If you do, go check it out. The best prices on diesel, gasoline, and they always have ethanol free. You got to check out a Bucky's. All right, guys, we got a full tank. Reset the gauge. Uh, took uh, 13 and a quarter gallons, 13.25. So get back on the interstate and we'll see what this thing will do. All right, guys, so we are driving into a rainstorm and we have got a pretty strong headwind. It's kind of Blowing from the uh, blowing at me from the front passenger side, man, it's it's pretty strong. One thing with these little jeeps, it's in the wind. You gotta hang on because it's gonna blow you all over the road. And the rain's not too bad, but the wind is really whipping. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get through this. There's a line coming through, so this is probably what it is. All right, guys, so I just got fuel again. So that was the second fuel stop at 197 and a half miles. I got 11 and a half gallons. So the manual calculation is 17.18. So we're going to call it 17.2. The computer says 17.7. Uh, so I guess we're about a half a mile per gallon off. So, uh, just filled up again. I reset it, and uh, maybe the weather and the wind will be a little more cooperative tomorrow uh, when I head back to Houston. And uh, we'll check it out and see what I get uh, going the other way. So, it's, I think it's supposed to be nasty weather uh, tomorrow also. The wind, man, the wind is going crazy in these little Jeeps. It just it doesn't help for a few miles. So. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow, but 17.2. There you have it. All right, guys. I don't, hopefully you can see me. It's kind of dark. It's uh, the next day. Today is Thursday the 6th, day before um, Easter Friday, or Good Friday. So I am headed towards Houston from San Antonio. And man, it's really nasty. 
it's really bad weather. The wind is ridiculous. I think in this video, you've probably heard me talk, talk about the wind a good bit. That's because these things are so susceptible to the wind. They're big boxes. Um, when there's no wind, it's, I mean, it's no different than any other vehicle, but they really do um, handle differently in the wind. You really have to pay attention. So yesterday after I filled up, uh, you recall I calculated fuel mileage manually, and it was just under 17 and a quarter miles to the gallon. And uh, I headed uh, back to my hotel. It's about a I don't know, 30, 35 mile drive from where our meetings were. And the computer um, says I'm getting 14.7. I had a really strong headwind um, headed, uh, headed north out of Pleasanton towards San Antonio. And uh, I don't think it's gonna be much better going back to Houston. I'm gonna stop in Yoakum for another meeting and then head on home uh, for the for the long weekend. So we'll see what it does, but it's not looking good for the mileage test. It's really nasty weather. I will tell you with the 488 gears, I really like the way it drives. I hold eighth gear. Um, it does turn a few more RPMs, um, but it's it's not it's not obnoxious at all. Um, feel like you have a lot more power uh, and it, it just drives a lot better so if you're considering a re-gear I would absolutely recommend it if you've changed to a little bit larger tire um, it will be a world of difference for you so all right let me turn you around and you can get a view of what the what the road conditions look like there's always construction on I-10 between Houston and San Antonio. I, I don't know. I don't think they're ever going to get done with it. All right, guys. Wish me luck. <clears throat> okay. This is the third fill-up. Hey, guys. So, filled up uh, for this second time second time and this last tank of gas we got uh, manually calculating fuel mileage 15 miles to the gallon um, with that said the computer said that I was getting 15.7 so um, I think it was again all the wind and the, and the weather um, I've had a really strong headwind uh, and a side wind that's uh, really had a, had an impact on fuel mileage. Right now, the computer says I'm getting 14.1. Uh, wind is still blowing pretty good, so we'll see what we get over the next couple of days. And I tell you what, <clears throat> I think this was definitely an anomaly. I don't feel like that's going to be normal um, economy. I think I'm probably going to be in the 17-ish area. Um, but what I'll do is uh, check it out um, going to work and back next week and calculate it manually again, and I'll report back to you and let you know what I find. But first tank of gas, we were, what, uh, 17, uh, just it was almost 17 and a quarter. Uh, second tank of gas, I was at 15. We'll see what this one gets us, and then I'll calculate it. Um, going to between uh, home and work. So see what that looks like. At any rate, there you have it. Uh, that's uh, that's what I got for you so far. That guy was waving at me. Weirdo. At any rate, I hope you have a, a happy Easter weekend and uh, hope everybody gets, uh, gets some time off to recharge. I'll see you on the trail. All right, so... We're getting fuel for the last time. So yesterday and today, the weather was pretty good. No wind, thank goodness. Um, and I think this is more um, of an accurate representation of 
what my fuel mileage is going to be with 488 gears and 35 inch tires. So um, we're getting fuel now. We'll see see how many gallons I get, and uh, I'll manually calculate uh, the fuel mileage. So uh, I think it's going to be mid seven seventeen and a half ish. Um, so not not too terrible for what it is but we'll see right. all right so I got 12.6 gallons and let's see there's 200. 217, let's call it 218. Uh, we'll see. All right, so we got 12.6 gallons and 218 miles. 218 divided by 12. 17.3. Um, so my computer the trip computer said 18.2 manually calculating on 17.3 is kind of what i figured it might be so 17 oh 17 is probably a fair representation of what a little two-door jeep with a v6 35 inch tires and 488 axle gears will get you not great better than I anticipated. So there you have it. That's what these little things do. That's what 4ED8 gears does to your fuel economy. So hopefully that helped you out. Um, if you like the content, stick around, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and uh, I will make more. Uh, so I will see you on the trail. Thanks for watching.